Hi there, it's Gabrielle Nicolet from Speech Kids, and I am coming to you from a preschool. Not in my car today. Um, I'm doing a site visit uh, to consult with a kiddo um, who's bilingual, which is something I often do. Um, and bilingualism is such a great topic, and we will definitely come back to it. But today, I wanted to um, talk to you about how kids learn new words. Um, because oftentimes we have a question about whether um, we as adults should be bombarding our kids with as many words as possible um, or whether we need to just pick a couple of words um, and really target what's, what, we're, what we're saying to our children. And so if, if we're asking how do kids learn language? Do they learn it by hearing what's in the environment or what we are targeting toward them? The answer is both, of course. Um, so of course we want to create a really rich language environment for our kids. We want them to know that there are words attached to everything, right? We want them to experience and know that there's language attached to everything they're doing from a diaper change to a bath to story time and bedtime and playtime. We want to always associate language with those experiences and talk to them about the experiences that they're having. Um, at the same time, we know that kids are um, who are with us are listening to us talk when we are speaking among adults. Um, right, so I once had a little a little person say that um, she didn't think she should brush her teeth because they felt sort of sophisticated. Um, <laughs> sophisticated was a word she had heard adults using, um, and she had clearly picked up on that from the environment and decided to use it. Um, and so that was kind of funny, but a, a way that um, that she was using this word that she clearly had no idea what it meant, but had heard in the environment. But here's the thing. When kids are just learning to speak, they might have a little bit of trouble gr grasping onto all of the words that are going on in the environment. Um, you know, they may not know sort of where to hang their hat, so to speak, and start talking. So while they're hearing a lot and listening and understanding a lot of what you're saying, they may not be using a lot of words. And so if the goal is for you to increase the number of words that your child is saying, dialing it back is the way to go. So more targeted vocabulary and targeted language use in smaller doses is what's gonna get your child talking, even if they already understand a lot, a lot of words. So it might be something as simple as you are just using one word to describe what's going on. Diaper. I don't know why I keep coming back to diapers, but that, there you go. Um, or in and out, right? Your child at this, at early ages especially, is wanting to put things in and take things out and dump things out and dump things in. In, out. In, out. Um, something repetitive like that, which as an adult can feel super repetitive, super boring, very uh, awkward maybe, but it might be just what your child needs in order to know that that's a word that they can use. Um, and so when you're really telescoping in, microscoping in, uh, on a single word, hi Martha, thanks for coming. Um, when you're really telescoping in on, on a single word or a single concept, then your child can begin to know that that's a word or concept they can use, even though they're probably understanding many, many, many more words than they can speak. Um, so there's a couple, a couple of thoughts on uh, you know, auditory bombardment, so to speak, talking using a lot of different words and uh, dialing it back and using just a few target words. So uh, that's your thought for the day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.